welcome back to the Buzz Brew House. Joining me today is Rachel. Rachel's with Oil and Water and has a big event for a wellness day coming up, as well as Mary Lynn with Big Fish Power Yoga. Yes. I did we it. Did it. Yeah. We got it. So, um, <laughs> exciting times coming up. So, we're going to start with Big Fish Power Yoga first. Uh, tell me about uh, your yoga studio, the concept, and what sets you apart from the other unimportant yoga studios. Oh, you know? no, they're all important. They are. Right answer. Because, well, yoga is so important. It's such an important thing to bring in because, really, from the practice, everything else from physical well being flows really everything else. So, Big Fish started about six years ago out at the beach so our first location is in Jacksonville Beach and I think what sets us apart there are a few things our practice is really physically challenging you do sweat a lot we heat the room to between 82 and 88 degrees so we teach what's called a power vinyasa a power practice and so it's perfect for men and women for you know kids love it it's for every single body type and we teach a range through the practice from basics, you know, to start establishing people to recognize what their bodies are capable of doing up to um, more rigorous classes that really move you, make you sweat. Now, every body type. So how would you describe my body type? It's perfect. Lovely. No, no. All right. So, all right, if I want to change my body type, well, tell me about that. Do people use it first since it is, obviously, you're elevating the heat. Do people use this as either weight loss or is it meditation? What are the main purposes? You know, I think people show up to the practice with something in mind, for sure. Like, I've, I've heard about it. I'd like to give it a try. Um, yeah, we hear all the time, am I going to lose weight doing this? Am I going to get stronger? Am I going to gain flexibility? All of the above, probably. And really, what we promote at Big Fish is to really give up those kinds of goals um, in terms of losing weight or wondering what may come and really just recognize that in the discovery of showing up on your mat consistently an, in an incredible result is going to happen. We tell people show up you know once or twice a week and you'll experience something different in your body. You will gain strength and flexibility um, and a new understanding of physicality once or twice a week. If you show up three and four times a week, you'll really discover a transformation in your body for sure. Excellent. Well, Rachel, tell me about this event coming up, Global Wellness Day. Global Wellness Day. Um, it is the first time it's coming in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I am honored to be a, a Global Wellness Ambassador, um, and it is represented in 100 countries. It's in 1,000 unique locations around the world, and it is coming here for the first time. So. Um, when I became an ambassador, I was like, who can we bring into the mix and how, who can we get involved to really um, tell the story that Jacksonville is a wellness destination um, and Big Fish Yoga, because I practice there uh, and have been for the last three years, Mary Lynn and Big Fish was the first uh, place that I went to and said, let's partner, let's create something together. Um, and we have, it's gonna be a full day of celebration. We say from sand, uh, from sand to city, we're connecting the city through wellness. Um, so we're gonna start um, at 7.45 next Saturday, June 11th, with a fun run on the beach. We're gonna start on 37th Beach entrance and run for about two miles. Come back and do a fun hour long free yoga and dance class um, at Big Fish. And then we're gonna head over to Unity Plaza and do a two to five, a speaker series from two to 5 p.m. Um, Mary Lynn will be speaking there as well as a few other wellness leaders and visionaries in the city. And the goal is really to just educate the community that wellness is all around us. There are entrepreneurs, there are businesses, organizations that are bringing wellness and lifestyle and fun and activity to the city. Um, so it's about giving people access um, and a new appreciation for the city. Very nice. When you're not working, what do you enjoy doing? I am never not working. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, no, I, you're not. <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of not kidding, but I love my work so much. Um, I, I do. I think I have a pretty disciplined yoga practice, and mm -hmm. that is something that keeps me really grounded and makes me very happy. I'm a beach lover. I live at the beach. Oh, gosh, I can't leave the beach. So I'm, I, I try to be outside as much as I can. It brings me a lot of happiness. How did you make it over the ditch to come in here today? Uh, <laughs> Was it hard? I know. We, I, talk. we, we talk. We talk. We talk for thirty minutes. And I do it's come so downtown bad. quite a bit. I mean, we talk about this all the time. There's a, there's a really important um, uh, change that's happening here in the city. We're seeing entrepreneurs really popping up downtown. We're seeing a lot of that happening at the beach. Hopefully, we're a part of that change. And it's really now about integrating 
the beach and the city and bringing them together and showing that it should be easy to cross the ditch and, and to get into town for a restaurant or for an event or for, you know, some culture, even if you live at the beach. And so we're really trying to sort of set that tone um, and, and coming in, into the city as often as possible. Uh, tell me about philanthropy. Are you guys involved with any not-for-profits that you um, help support more so than others? Yeah, Big Fish actually has um, strong roots in that. We started the studio with a weekly class every Sunday called Practice with Purpose. And it was really, it was just an idea that, that I had when it was just me, and now we have a great team of teachers who have continued to grow it. But it was to bring a class that was specifically for um, whatever you could give to have a great class. And then those dollars collabor collaboratively over the course of a quarter um, connect to a nonprofit partner that we're working with, either locally or nationally, and all that money raised goes directly to them. And so through the, the past six years, every quarter, gosh, it's really turned into something where nonprofit organizations, they're like, hey, who's your practice with purpose who's your practice with purpose partner this quarter? We'd love to work with you. And um, it just gives a, it gives a great platform for those nonprofits to come into the studio, learn about yoga, recognize how important it is for them. And then equally five dollars a person generates a lot of money over the course of a quarter. So over the course of really any given quarter we've raised you know, upwards of $5,000 to give back to um, local nonprofits like Live for Today, um, Surf Fish Serve, um, the Heal Foundation, Africa Yoga Project, all kinds of really great organizations that are being funded in different ways. And then some of them are like, oh my gosh, this is so much, you know, it's so much money, um, especially if it's a nonprofit that's just starting to get onto their feet. So it's been great. Right now we're working with a local family, the Amato family. Um, team Kate. Kate is a local girl, really just right around the corner from Big Fish, the Jack's Beach location. And she has a rare uh, soft tissue cancer. The whole community of the beaches has gotten behind her and her family. And so we're fundraising just to support their family for their needs mm -hmm. that they have while she's involved with some intense um, work in the hospital. So it gets a whole culture, you know, stirred really to serve. And it's been, um, it, I, I would say Practice with Purpose has probably, went, it's been a pulse, for mm -hmm. sure, mm -hmm. of the studios. And it's brought community together in a huge way. Well, mm -hmm. we would like to donate a $1,000 Buzz gift card to your charity of choice to help Amazing. promote their Amazing. Thank you and, so uh, much. And we appreciate you guys joining us on the Buzz Brew House today. And look forward to having you guys back in here to actually whip us up in the shape. Yeah, we will. And uh, help us uh, do yoga with purpose. So. Thank you for coming in and thank you for joining us on the Buzz Brew House. We'll see you next episode.